A latest report has shown that whales in the Caribbean are facing great danger because of many contributing factors. The Turks and Caicos was mentioned as a danger zone for these mammals, and WIV4 talked to the Department of Environmental and Coastal Resources to give us some details on what they plan to do to rectify the situation. Thousands of whales migrate to this part of the Caribbean for breeding purposes, and although multitudes have been discovered near the Turks and Caicos Island seashore, Scientists are still unsure about these mammals. One thing they are certain about is the apparent danger these creatures face on their long journey. Tangling, pollution, and other factors that are leaving environmentalists asking for reform when it comes to these creatures. WIV4 noticed an online article on the Turks and Caicos as it represents a big breeding ground for these animals. And a study is being done to learn more about their habits. Rhonda Lee Dalrymple, Environmental Education Officer, tell more about the initiatives in place to restore their safety. Um, well, like with any development, um, with development uh, comes threats to the environment. And with the increase in tourism, and of course cruise ships that pass through our waters, um, these pose a threat to whales that migrate from their feeding grounds to their breeding grounds, and they use the Caribbean waters to do so. So with the passing of cruise ships, whales can become entangled, and there are a whole lot of things that can happen to them because of the cruise, the cruise industry, the rise in the cruise industry. The exact number of whales that migrate to the TCI shore is not known. Their relationship, communication, and other rituals are being looked into by scientists. Presently, an organization entitled the Well and Dolphin Society are conducting a baseline study to comprehend these issues. They'll try to identify the whales. You're looking at the tails, and they'll be looking at the voice. The whales make, each whale makes a specific sound. So they'll try to identify whales by looking at their voice as well as their tails. It'll give you an, an idea of how many whales pass through, and it will help us to better manage our tourism industry so as to lessen the impacts on these animals. She said tourists who visit the TCI are enlightened on whales, their rituals, and what the visitors can do to alleviate any added stress to these marine animals. The education officer talked about what residents need to do. I think what people fail to understand is that everything in nature is interconnected. We're connected in some form or fashion to the whales, and they're connected to us. And when one link in the chain is broken, the entire chain the integrity of the entire, entire chain is compromised. And simple things we can do is just to learn as much as we can and to act responsibly. Dispose of your garbage, especially plastics and paper, in a proper, in a proper fashion. Put it in a bin or in a designated dumping site. Try not to throw it through the car window or leave it on the beach. Uh, for a number of years now, uh, we have whale watching guidelines, and these guidelines ensure that the boat operators and the whale watchers themselves act responsibly. In addition to that, the guidelines ensure that there's minimum impact to the whales and their calves and so on. And secondly, for the latter half of last year, the DECR, along with the Ministry of Natural Resources, undertook a legislative review, an environmental legislative review. And in so doing, we, are, we have drafted a whale protection ordinance. That is to be approved, hopefully soon. WIV4 will have an update on the findings of the WDCS at the conclusion of their study.